Lauren Spencer Smith, thanks for joining us. Hey, yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's really nice to meet you. And I, I thought we'd start kind of at the beginning. Can you tell me about how music became a part of your life? Yeah, um, I always tell everybody this, that I can't think of a time music wasn't in my life. Um, I don't have a musical family. Like no one in my family plays an instrument. Um, I just remember being like two, three years old and just being so drawn to music. I'm always knew the lyrics to everything. And by five years old, my parents knew I was just like obsessed with music. They would buy me like karaoke machines and like CD players. And they always knew what artists I wanted to listen to. If like Cody Simpson came on in the middle of like the Disney channel, family channel, I would like sing along and like do the whole performance with them. Like I've just been so drawn to music since a really young age. And have you done any sort of vocal training? I think sometimes we think like, okay, here's an artist. They're just like, you have an incredibly beautiful and rich voice. It's lovely. Um, but I think sometimes we, we don't see behind the scenes. And um, so did, did your journey, has your journey involved any sort of training in any way? Yeah. So when I was younger, I like won this competition when I was about nine. And I got like three months of like free vocal lessons. And then a couple of years later, I think when I was about 12, I think we did it for about like a year or so, but I never grew up from a really young age having vocal lessons. And then I haven't had any mm -hmm. in like the last five years. Is there a moment that you kind of knew like, this is what I want to do with my life? Because there are a lot of people who are musical and who love to sing, but they don't go on to pursue it as their career. What was the moment for you? Mm -hmm. I mean, ever since I was in like elementary school, I would walk around and tell everyone like I'm doing music, like there's nothing else I want to do. Anytime I did a math assignment, I was like, this is such a waste of my time. Like I'm only doing music. Like I was so overdramatic about it. But when I was 11, I entered a competition. I got to sing with Keith Urban at my local um, country music festival. And there's just thousands of people there being on stage with him. That was like a moment where I was like, yeah, this is 100 percent what I want to do for the rest of my life. And what is it about being on stage? What does that feel like for you being on stage and performing? Yeah, it's just like seeing fans and people in front of you, like listening to you. It's 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 such a different feeling. You can't even explain what being on stage in front of that many people feels like. It's just so crazy. Like people are so inspired by your music and people are like genuinely touched in the heart by like things you've created. Like that is the best feeling in the world. Mm -hmm. And you've gained a lot of attention online. And I know you're in the thick of things now with fingers crossed, just mm -hmm. skyrocketing. Have you had time to reflect on how the online world and online presence has either made things easier or harder, more pressure, or has it made things more free for you to just do what you want? Mm -hmm. How has that affected your career? So I mean, far? it's kind of a bit of both. There's definitely more pressure because there's more people that want music from you. I thankfully am almost done my album so I'm not feeling like oh my goodness I have no music like I've been writing for like the past year nonstop. so I'm like we have songs in the you know the books that are in the works that are going to be out for everyone um but then at the same time also makes it a lot easier because you have so many people that maybe they were just kind of a fan before but now they're like a super fan and they like really have your back like when somebody hates on you on the internet in comments and says that I look like a whale like I don't even need to respond because my fans are already beating this person up being like that is so disrespectful of you like people really have your back and you just have so many people supporting you and you know the more people you have supporting you the better the more you feel just this is my purpose this is what I meant to do like so many people have my back and definitely makes you feel comforted yeah so you're working and almost done a new album what's a typical day like right now for you oh god um, typical day, um, the last five days I haven't worked out, but I usually work because I've just been so busy. Usually though, I wake up at like 6 a.m. I work out for about an hour and a half and then I get ready. Usually have interviews or press or radio something in the morning, back to back to back. Um, and then usually around like 11, I have like either like a meeting with like my music team to discuss where are we at with the album. And then an hour later we'll have a meeting with the international team that's like, okay, where do we need to go in the world? And where do we need to do interviews in the world? And just like goes hour by hour by hour of different meetings with the different departments of everything that I'm doing. And recently I've been super fortunate that around like 8 p.m. 
I, I like, like I went to do a Lipa the other night. Um, so by the time 8, 8 p.m. rolled around, I was like, I went to do a Lipa. I went to Clinton Kane the other day. I'm in New York. So there's lots of shows going on. So I've been able to go to shows. If I'm not at a show, I'm usually doing something or working until like 10 p.m. Yeah. Are you, is, is six o'clock in the morning a normal wake up time for you? Or is that something you've had to sit in because of your schedule? Because I can't um, wake up at six in the morning. Yeah. So I am a morning person. I do love waking up early, but it definitely like, I've been going to bed at like two. So then like getting up at six is like, has been pretty rough getting four hours of sleep. I'm the kind of person who needs like a solid seven to feel functioning. That's why I haven't been working out. Cause I'm like, well, what am I going to do to get two hours of sleep instead of four? Like I can't do that. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm used to waking up early. I do like it. Yeah. So what is one of your ultimate goals with, uh, your pro- projection of your career? What are you hoping? I mean, Grammy awards, anything yes. else? Is there some, yes. some specific place that you want to perform or someone you want to collaborate mm-hmm. with? Yeah. Would love multiple Grammys. Would love my album to go platinum. Um, that's a super huge goal of mine. Um, I would love to sell out the Rogers Arena in my hometown um, in Vancouver. That's like the arena I watched, like One Direction. Like every person I watched sold out Rogers Arena. That's my goal. Would love to sell out Madison Square Garden and Wembley Stadium. <laughs>